Okay, now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Google Keyword Tool. Now, why would you wanna do a crazy thing like that? Well, let's say you might wanna name a business, a website, an article name, and you wanna do some keyword research to make sure that there's actually traffic going to the things that you're gonna create. Or you might wanna research a product or service before you actually make it and sell it. Or you might wanna create a pay-per-click Google AdWords campaign like you see here on the right and you want to know how much competition there is before you start. So what we need to do first is we go to the Google keyword tool, type that in. The first one that pops up at the top, the one that says AdWords, that's the one you want, not this one down here. So we click that. So this is the best keyword research tool there is out there because it's made by Google and it's supposed to be for people that want to place ads but you can use it for all manner of things. Okay, so say you're a dentist and you want to create an article on your website to drive traffic to it. So you might type in something like clean teeth just to start off with. We click here, advanced options. You can select what country, etc. That's the only thing I would choose though, just country. And then here, you only have to do this the very first time that you use it. You just type in the capture code there. Now, as you can see, what it's saying is that 165,000 people globally are searching for clean teeth and locally, in the country I've got here, which is the United States, are searching for it as well. And the great thing about this tool is it brings up search terms that you wouldn't normally have known, like deep cleaning teeth. So that means if you're gonna create perhaps an ebook or a product or an article, you might call it deep cleaning teeth because 8,100 people are searching for it. And it's in currently or in order of relevance, but if you wanna make it in order of global monthly searches, so the one at the top appears first, you can see 24 million, but then the word dental is probably not that important to you. So I'd rather just keep it how it was before in order of relevance. And this thing here, competition, that's how competitive these keywords are in terms of creating an ad campaign. So you might wanna go for about teeth, because even though it's got 11 million as opposed to 24 million, the competition is lower. You can also export to CSV here if you go download, all search results, CSV, and then as you can see, it's asking me to download that, and then you can open it up as well if you wish, and all your results will be here, and then you can organize them as you please. Now sometimes the words that it brings back, they're very similar, and they don't kind of make a huge difference. As you can see here, 823,000, that's quite a specific number. So I would say, how do I get whiter teeth, and how can I get whiter teeth? they're not gonna really let you know the exact number of people that put in can as opposed to do. They're just saying it's pretty much the same. And the same with this, teeth whiter or whiter teeth. Technically speaking, they are different, but the search results it shows you is both 823,000. So they're saying that they're exactly the same thing. And the same with this, teeth whiter and whiter teeth. Now, technically, they're different things. And if you put them into Google, they'll show you different results. But in terms of this keyword tool, it actually won't make a distinction between how many people exactly typed in whiter teeth versus teeth whiter. It's just gonna say they're both 823,000. So now if you wanted to drill down even further, you can in fact enter multiple things in this word or phrase part here. So I saw before white and tooth, uh, bleaching teeth, and then hit search. And that's going to kind of narrow down your search results. And this will allow you to compare just the phrases that you're thinking of, because you might be thinking, should I call it white and tooth, clean teeth, bleaching teeth? Well, this will show you what's most popular. Having said that, what's most popular also a lot of the time has the highest competition. So it's finding that sweet spot in something that's kind of popular, but has very low competition. So you can step in and essentially dominate that space, that niche. And this fits within a broader concept of search engine optimization. And this Google keyword tool and keyword research is just one part of that. And we're gonna tackle that in another video. And also if you wanna use it to best name your website so it gets the most traffic, I'm gonna create another video on that for you as as well. You may have noticed this. You actually don't need a Google AdWords account to use it. And it says for a full set of ideas for this search, don't worry about it. This is actually quite plenty. Only if you want to create a AdWords campaign, I would bother doing that, creating an account and signing in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun going through all these different keywords. Try not to go overly crazy looking at them and obsessing over the best ones. Just roughly pick the best ones and you'll be doing quite well. As always, please put your comments in the comment section below and subscribe. I'm gonna be releasing a lot of more great videos shortly so you'll be the first to get updated with those. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.